Let's do part two, three, four, Hello all and welcome to tonight's Torah portion. Before I get started, I'm a say our customary blessing. Blessed art thou, Adonai, who is the king of the universe, who gave us the Torah of truth and set, our, uh, and set everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, Adonai, giver of the Torah, Brukata Adonai, the teen hug. Brukata Adonai, the teen hug. I'm all flustered now. <laughs> This. The way I know I say it right. <laughs> this video is going good already. Yep. Blessed art thou, Adonai, King of the Universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments, commanded us, and grew ourselves with the words of Torah. Please, Adonai, who has the words of your Torah in our mouths and the mouths of all our people of Israel. May we in our offspring, the offspring of your people, our house Israel, may we all together know your name and study your Torah for sake, fulfilling your desire. Bless you, Adonai, who teaches Torah to his people Israel. Bless you, Adonai, King of the Universe. Who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah? Bless you, Donai, give the Torah. May Donai bless you and keep watch over you. May Donai make his presence who lend you may be kind to you. May Donai bestow favor on you and grant you peace. Alright, you go to start. Rejoice in the Lord, O oh, you righteous. Praise the benefits of the upright. Praise the Lord with the lyre, make melody to him with the harp of ten strings. Sing to him a new song, play skillfully on the strings with loud shouts. For the word of the Lord is upright, and his work is done in faithfulness. He loves righteousness and justice, the earth is full of the steadfast love of the Lord. But the word of the Lord and by the word of the Lord the heavens were made, and, and all the host by the breath of his mouth. He gathered the waters of the sea as in a bottle, and he put the deeps in storehouses. Let all the earth fear the Lord, let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spoke, and it came to be. He commanded, and it stood firm. The Lord brings the counsel of the nations to nothing. He frustrates the plans of the people, and the counsel of the Lord stands for heaven and forever. These thoughts of his heart to all generations. Happy is the nation who God is the Lord, the people of whom he has chosen as his heritage. The Lord looks down from heaven, he seeks all humankind, from where he sits enthroned he watches all the inhabitants of the earth he who fashions the hearts of them all and observes all their deeds a king is not saved by his great army a warrior is not delivered by his great strength the war horse is a vain hope for victory and by his great might it cannot save Truly the eyes of the Lord is on those who fear him, on those who hope his hope it whose hope is in his steadfast love to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. Our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and our shield and our heart is glad in him. Because he we trust in his holy name. Let your steadfast love, O Lord, be upon us, even as we hope in you. 34. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes its boast in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. O magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I saw the Lord, and he answered me, and, and delivered me from all my fears. Look to him, and be radiant, so your faces shall never be ashamed. The poor soul cried, and was heard by the Lord, and was saved from every trouble. The angel of the Lord encamped around those who fear him, and delivered them. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Happy are those who take refuge in him. Oh, fear the Lord, 
you, his holy ones, for those who fear him have no want. The young lions su suffer want and hunger, but those who seek the Lord lack no good things. Come, O children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord, which of you desires life and covets many days to enjoy good. Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against evildoers to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and rescues them from their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed spirit. Crushed in spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord rescues them from them all. He keeps all their bones, no one of them shall be broken. Evil brings death to the wicked, and those who hate the righteous will be condemned. The Lord redeems the life of his servants. None of those who take refuge in him will be condemned. 35. Contend, O Lord, with those who contend with me. Fight against those who fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler, and rise up to help me. Draw the spear and javelin against my pursuers. Say to my Lord, I am your salvation. Let them be put to shame and dishonor who seek after my name. Let them be turned back and confounded who devise evil against me. Let them be like chaff in the wind with the angel of the Lord driving them on. Let their way be dark and slippery, with the angel of the Lord pursuing them. For without cause they hid their net for, for me. Without cause they dug a pit for my life. Let ruin come upon them unawares, and let the net that they have hid ensnare them. Let, it, let them fall in it to their ruin. Then my soul shall rejoice in the Lord, exulting in his deliverance. All my bones shall say, O Lord, who is like you? You deliver the weak from those too strong for them, and the weak and needy from those who despoil them. Malicious witnesses rise up. They ask about things I do not know. They repay me evil for good. My soul is forlorn. But as for me, when they were sick, I wore sackcloth. I afflicted myself with fasting. I prayed with the head bowed on my bosom, as though... I grieved for a friend or a brother. I went about as one who laments for a mother, bowed down and in mourning. But at my stumbling they gathered in glee. They gathered together against me. Refiants, whom I did not know, tore at me without ceasing. They impartially mocked more and more, gnashing at me with their teeth. How long, O Lord? Will you look on, rescue me from their ravages, my life from the lions? Then I will thank you in the great congregation and the mighty throng. I will praise you. Do not let my treacherous enemies rejoice over me. For those who hate me without cause, wink the eye. For they do not speak peace, but they conceive deceitful words against those who are quiet in the land. They open wide their mouths against me. They say, Aha, aha, our eyes have seen it. You have seen, O Lord. Do not be silent. O Lord, do not be far from me. Wake up, bestir yourself for my defense. For my cause, my God, O my Lord. Vindicate me, O Lord, my God, according to your righteousness. And do not let them rejoice over me. Do not let them say to themselves, Aha, we have our hearts desired. Do not let them say, We have swallowed you up. Let all those who rejoice at my calamity be put to shame and confusion. Let those who exalt themselves against me be clothed with shame and dishonor. 
Let those who desire my vindication shout for joy and be glad and say evermore, Great is the Lord who delights in the welfare of his servant. Then my tongue shall tell of your righteousness and of your praise all day long. Psalm 36. Transgression speaks to the wicked deep in their hearts. There is no fear of God. Therefore, their eyes, before their eyes, for they flatter themselves in their own eyes, that their iniquity cannot be found out and hated. The words of their mouths are mischief and deceit. They have ceased to act wisely and do good. They plot mischief while on their beds. They are sat on a way that is not good. They do not reject evil. Your steadfast love, O Lord, extends to the heavens, your faithfulness to the clouds. Your righteousness is like the mighty mountain. Your judgment are like the great deep. You save humans and animals alike, O Lord. How precious is your steadfast love, O God. All people may take refuge in the shadow of your wings. They feast on the abundance of your house, and you give them drink from the river of your delights. For with you is the fountain of life, and your light we see light. O oh, continue your steadfast love to those who know you, and your salvation to the upright of heart. Do not let the foot of the arrogant, the arrogant tread on me, or the hand of the wicked drive me away. There are the evildoers lie prostrate, they are thrust down, unable to rise. Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass, and wither as the green herb. Trust in the Lord, and do good, so shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thy heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness with the light, and thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord, and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his ways, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Seize from anger, and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. For evildoers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. For yet a little while the wicked shall not be, yea, thou shalt diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. But the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. The wicked plotteth against the just, and garnish upon him with his teeth. The Lord shall laugh at him, for he seeth that his day is coming. The wicked have drawn out the sword, and have bent their bow, to cast down the poor and needy, and to slay such as be upright conversation. Their sword shall enter into their own heart, and their bows shall be broken. A little that a righteous man hath is better than the riches of many wicked. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord upholdeth the righteous. The Lord knoweth the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time, and in the days of famine they shall be satisfied. But the wicked shall perish, and the enemies of the Lord shall be as the fat of lambs. They shall consume, and to smoke shall they consume away. The wicked borroweth and payeth not again, but the righteous showeth mercy and giveth. For such as be blessed of him shall inherit the earth, and they that be cursed of him shall be cut off. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholdeth him.
with his hand. I have been young, and now am old. I have not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. He is ever merciful, and lenteth, and his seed is blessed. Depart from evil, and do good, and dwell evermore. For the Lord loveth judgment, and forsaketh not his saints. They are preserved forever, but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. The righteous shall inherit the land, and dwell therein forever. The mouth of the righteous speaketh wisdom, and his tongue talketh of judgment. The law of his God is in his heart, none of his steps shall slide. The wicked watches the righteous and seeketh to slay him. The Lord will not leave him in his land, or condemn him when he is judged. Wait on the Lord, and keep his way, and he shall exalt thee unto inherit the land. Where the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it. I have seen the wicked in great power, and spreading himself like a green bay tree. Yet he passed away, and lo, he was not. Ye, I saw him, but he could not be found. Mark the perfect man, and behold the upright, for the end of that man is peace. But the transgressions shall be destroyed together, and the end of the wicked shall be cut off. But the salvation of righteousness is of the Lord. He is their strength and in time of trouble, and the Lord shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. O oh Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger, discipline me in your wrath, for you, for your arrows have sunk into me, and your hand has come down on me. There is no soundness in my flesh because of your indignation. There is no health in my bones because of my sin, for my iniquity has gone over my head. They weigh like a burden too heavy for me. My wounds grow foul and fester because of my foolishness. I am utterly bowed down and prostrate. All day long I go around mourning, for my loins are filled with burns. And there is no soundness in my flesh, and I am utterly spent and crushed. I groan because of the turmoil of my heart. O oh Lord, all my longing is known to you. My sighing is not hidden from you. My heart throbs, my strength fails me. As for the light of my eyes, it also has gone from me. My friends and companions stand aloof from my affliction, and my neighbors stand far off. Those who seek my life lay their snares. Those who seek to hurt me speak of ruin and meditate treachery all day long. When I am like the deaf, I do not hear. Like the mute who cannot speak truly, I am like the one who does not hear and in whom mouth is no retort. But it is for you, O Lord, that I wait. It is you, O Lord, my God, who will answer. For I pray only do not let them rejoice over me. Those who boast against me when my foot slips. For I am ready to fall, and my plane is ever with me. My pain is over. Me. I confess my iniquity. I am sorry for my sin. Those who are, are my foes without cause are mighty, and many are those who hate me wrongfully. Those who render me evil for good are my adversaries because I follow after good. Those who do not forsake me, O Lord, O my God, do not be far from me. Make haste to help me. O Lord, my salvation. 39. 
I said I will guard my ways, that I will not sin with my tongue. I will keep a muzzle on my mouth. As long as the wicked are in my presence, I was silent and still. I held my peace to no avail. My distress grew worse. My heart became hot within me. While I mused, the fire burned. Then I spoke with my tongue. Lord, let me know my end, and what is the measure of my days. Let me know how fleeting my life is. You have made my days a few hand breaths, and my lifetime is as nothing in your sight. Surely everyone stands as a mere breath. Think about it, say long. Surely everyone goes about like a shadow. Surely for nothing they are in turmoil. They heap up and do not know who will gather. And now, O Lord, what do I wait for? My hope is in you. Deliver me for all, from all my transgressions. Do not make me the scorn of the foul. Scorn of the fool. I am silent. I do not open my mouth. For it is you who have done it. Remove your stroke from me. I am worn down by the blows of your hand. You chastise mortals in punishment for sin. Consumed like a moth what is dear to them. Surely everyone is a mere breath. Think about it, Taylor. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Give ear to my cry. Do not hold your peace of my tears, for I am your passing guest, an alien like all my forebears. Turn your gaze away from me, that I may smile again. Before I depart, and, and no more. Psalm 40. I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined to me and heard my cry. He drew me up from the desolate pit out of my, out of the murray bog, and set my feet upon a rock, making my steps secure. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many will see and fear and put their trust in the Lord. Happy are those who make the Lord their trust, who do not turn to the proud, to those who go astray after false gods. You have multiplied, O Lord my God, your wondrous deeds and your thoughts toward us. None can compare with you. Where, were I to proclaim and tell of them, they would be more than can be counted. Sacrifice and offering you do not desire, but you have given me an open ear. Burnt offering and sin offering you have not required. Then I said, Here I am. In a scroll of the book it is written of me. I delight to do your will, O oh my God. Your law is within my heart. I have told the glad news of deliverance. And the great congregation, see, I have not restrained my lips. As you know, O Lord, I have not hidden your saving help within my heart. I have spoken of your faithfulness and your salvation. I have not concealed your steadfast love and your faithfulness from the great congregation. Do not, O Lord, withhold your mercy from me. Let your steadfast love and your faithfulness keep me safe forever. For evils have encompassed me without number. My iniquities have overtaken me until I cannot see. They are more than the hairs of my head, and my heart fails me. Be pleased, O Lord, to deliver me, O Lord. Make haste to help me. Let all those be put to shame and confusion who seek to snatch away my life. Let those who turn back and brought to dishonor who desire my hurt. Let those be appalled because of their shame. Who say to me, Aha, aha. But may all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. May those who love your salvation say continuously, Great is the Lord. As for me, I am poor and needy. But the Lord takes thought for me. 
You are my help and my deliverer. Do not delay, O oh my God. Psalm 41. Happy are those who consider the poor. The Lord delivers them in the day of trouble. The Lord protects them and keeps them alive. They are called happy in the land. You do not give them up to the will of, the, of their enemies. The Lord sustains them on their sickbed. In their illness, you heal all their infirmities. As for me, I said, O Lord, be gracious to me. Heal me, for I have sinned against you. My enemies wonder and malice. When I will die, in my name perish. And when they come to see me, they utter empty words, while their hearts gather mischief. When they go out, they tell it abroad. All who hate me whisper together about me. They imagine the worst for me. They think that a deadly thing has fastened on me. <clears> that I will not rise again from where I lie. Even my bosom friend, in whom I trusted, who ate all my bread, has lifted the heel against me. But you, O Lord, be gracious to me and raise me up, that I may repay them. By this I know that you are pleased with me, because my enemies, my enemy has not triumphed over me, but you have upheld me because of my integrity and set me in your presence forever. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, whom from everlasting to everlasting, amen and amen. Psalm 42. As the heart painteth after the water brooks, so painteth my soul after thee, O God. My soul thirsteth for God, the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? My tears have been my meat day and night, while they continually say unto me, Where is thy God? When I remember these things, I pour out my soul in me, for I had gone with the multitude. I went with them to the house of God with the voice of joy and praise for the multitude that kept holiday. Why art thou cast down, O my soul, and why art thou disquieted in me? Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him for the help of his countenance. O my God, my soul is cast down with me. Therefore will I remember thee from the land of Jordan, and the Hemorites from the hill Mizar. Deep calleth unto deep at the noise of the water spouts. All the waves and the billows are gone over me. Yet the Lord will command his lovingness in the daytime, and in the night his song shall be with me. My prayer unto the God of my life. I will say unto God my rock, Why hasn't thou forgotten me? Why go I mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? As with a sword in my bones, my enemy reproach me. While they say daily unto me, Where is thy God? Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted with me? Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him, who is the health of my countenance and my God. 43. Judge me, O God, and plead my case against an ungodly nation. O deliver me from the deceitful and the unjust man. For thou art the God of my strength. Why dost thou cast me off? While go... I mourning because the oppression of the enemy. O send out thy light and thy truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me unto the holy hill and to thy tabernacles. Then will I go unto the altar of God, unto God my exceeding joy. Yeah, upon the harp will I praise thee, O God my God. Why art thou cast down, O my soul, and why art thou is quitted with me, open God, for I shall yet praise him, who is the health of my countenance and my God.
Psalm 44. We have heard with our ears, O God. Our ancestors have told us what deeds you performed, perf yeah, performed in their days, in the days of old. You with your own hand drove out the nations, but them you planted. You afflicted the people, but them you set free. For not by their own sword did they win the land, nor did their own arm give them victory. But your right hand and your arm in the light of your countenance, for, your del for you delighted in them. You are my king and my God. You command victories for Jacob through you are through you we push down our foes. Through your name we tread down our assailants. For not in my bow do I trust. Bow, sorry. Nor can my sword save me, but you have saved us from our foes. And you have put to confusion those who hate us. And God we have boasted continually, and we will give thanks to your name forever. Yet you have rejected rejected us and about and abased us and have not gone out with our armies you made us turn back from the foe and our enemies have gotten spoiled you have made us like sheep for the slaughter and have scattered us among the nations you have sold your people for a trifle demand no high price demanding no high price for them you have made us the taunt of our neighbors the derision and scorn of those around us. You have made us a byword among the nations, a laughing stock among the peoples. All day long my disgrace is before me. The shame has covered my face. All the words of the taunters and revilers at the sight of the enemy and the avenger. All this has come upon us, yet we have not forgotten you. Or have been false to your covenant. Our heart has not turned back, nor have our steps departed from your way. Yet you have broken us in the haunt of jackals, and covered us with deep darkness. If we had forgotten the name of our God, or spread out our hands to a strange God, would not God discover this? For he knows the secrets of the heart, because of you we are being killed all day long, and accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Rouse yourself, why do you sleep, O Lord? Awake, do not cast us off forever, why do you hide your face? Why do you forget our affliction and oppression? For we sink down to the dust, our bodies cling to the ground, rise up, come to our help, redeem us for the sake of your steadfast love. Psalm 45 My heart overflows with a goodly theme. I address my verses to the king, my tongue is like a pen, the pen of a ready scribe. You are the most handsome of men. Grace is poured upon your lips. Therefore God has blessed you forever. Gird your word on your thigh, O mighty one, in your glory and majesty. In your majesty ride on victoriously for the cause of truth and to defend the right. Let your right hand teach you teach you dread deeds. Your arrows are sharp in the heart of the king's enemies. The peoples fall under you. Your throne, O oh God, endures forever and ever. Your royal scepter is a scepter of equi equity. You love righteousness and hate wickedness. Therefore, God, your God has anointed you. With the oil of gladness beyond your companions, your robes are all fragrant with myrrh and aloes and cassia. From ivory places, stringed instruments make you glad. Daughters of kings are among your ladies of honor. At your right hand stands the queen in gold and ophir. Here, O oh daughter, consider and incline your ear. 
forgive your people and your father's house, and the king will desire your beauty, since he is your lord. Bow to him. The people of Tyre will seek your favor with gifts, the riches of people with all the king's wealth, all with all kinds of wealth. The princess is decked in her chamber with gold woven ropes and many colored ropes she is led to the king. Behind her, the virgins, her companions, follow. With joy and gladness they are led along as they enter the palace of the king. And the place of ancestors, you, O king, shall have sons. You will make them princes in all the earth. I will cause your name to be celebrated in all generations. Therefore the peoples will praise you forever and ever. is a refuge and strength, a very pleasant help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth should change. Though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble with its tumult. Think about it, say long. There is a river whose streams make it make glad the city of God, the holy inhabitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of the city, it shall not be moved. God will help it when the morning dawns, the nations are in an uproar, the kingdom totters. He utters his voice, the earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us, the God of Jacob is our refuge think about it, say it all. Come, behold the works of the Lord. See what desolation he has brought on the earth. He, he makes wars cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire, but still, be still and know that I am God. I am exalted among the nations, I am exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us, the God of Jacob is our refuge. Think about it, say it all. Psalm 48, 47, sorry. Clap your hands, all you peoples. Shout to God with loud songs of joy. For the Lord the Most High is awesome, a great king over all the earth. He subdued peoples under us and nations under our feet. He chose our heritage for us, the pride of Jacob whom he loves. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. Sing praises to God, sing praises. Sing praises to our king, sing praises, for God is the king of all the earth. Sing praises with a psalm. God is king over the nations. God sits on his holy throne. The princes of the people gather with the people of God of Abraham. For the shields of the earth belong to God. He is highly exalted. Psalm 48. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, in the mountain of His holiness. Beautiful for situation of the joy of the whole earth is Mount Zion, on the sides of the north in the city of the great king. God is known in her places for a refuge. For Job, for lo, the king were assembled, they passed by together, they saw it, and so they marveled. They were troubled and hasted away. Fear took hold upon them there, and pain, 
as of a woman in travail. Thou breakest the ships of the Taurus with an east wind. As we have heard, so have we seen in the city of the Lord, of hosts in the city of our God. God will establish it forever. Salah. We have thought of the loving kindness, O God, in the midst of thy temple. According to thy name, O God, so is thy praise on to the end of the earth. The right hand is full of righteousness. Let Mount Zion rejoice, let the daughters of Judah be glad, because of thy judgments. Walk about Zion, and go round about her. Tell the towers thereof, mark ye, well, her bulwarks consider her places, palaces, that ye may tell it to the generation following. For this God is our God, for ever and ever. He will be our guide even unto death. Psalm 49 Hear this, all ye people, give ear, all ye inhabitants of the world, both low and high, rich and poor, together. My mouth shall speak of wisdom, and the meditation of my heart shall be of understanding. I will incline my ear to a parable. I will open my dark saying upon the heart. Wherefore should I fear in the days of evil, when the iniquity of my heels shall compass me about? They that trust in the wealth and boast themselves in the multitude of their riches, none of them can be any means to redeem his brother, nor give to God a ransom for him. For the redemption of their soul is precious, and it ceaseth forever, that he should still live forever and not see corruption. For he seeth that wise men die. Likewise, the fool and the brutish persons perish, and leave their wealth to others. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever, and their dwelling places to all generations they call their lands after their own names. Nevertheless, man, being in honor, abideth not. He is like the beast that perish. This their way is their fault, yet their prosperity above their saying, Salah. Like sheep, they are laid in the grave. Death shall feed on them, and the upright shall have dominion over them in the morning, and their beauty shall consume in the grave from their dwelling. But God will redeem my soul from the power of the grave, for he shall receive me. Salah. But not thou afraid, when one is made rich when the glory of his house is increased. For when he dieth, he shall carry nothing away. His glory shall not descend after him. Though while he lived, he blessed his soul, and men will praise thee. While thou doest well to thyself, he shall go to the generation of his fathers. They shall never see light. Man that is in honor and understandeth not is like the beast that perish. Psalm 50 The mighty God, even the Lord hath spoken and calleth the earth from the rising of the sun unto the going down thereof. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God hath sinned. Our God shall come and shall not keep silence. A fire shall devour before him, and it shall be very temperous round about him. He shall call to the heavens from above, and to the earth, that he may judge his people. Gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant with my sacrifice. And the heavens shall declare his righteousness, for God is the judge himself. Salah, hear, O my people, and I will speak. O Israel, and I will testify against thee. I am God, even thy God. I will not reprove thee for the sacrifices or thy burnt offerings to have been continually before me. I will take no bullock out of thy house, nor the goats out of thy folds. For every beast of the forest is mine, and the cattle upon a thousand hills. 
I know all the fowls of the mountains and the wild beasts of the fields are mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell thee, for the world is mine, and the fullness thereof. I will eat the flesh of bulls, or drink the blood of goats. Offer unto the God thanksgiving, and pay thy vows unto the Most High. And call upon me in the day of trouble, I will deliver thee, and thou shalt glorify me. But unto the wicked God saith, What hast thou to do with Declare my statutes, or that thou shalt take my covenant in thy mouth. Seeing thou hast instruction, and castest my words behind thee, when thou sawest a thief, then thou shalt consistent with him, and has been partaker with adulterers. Thou givest my mouth to evil, and thy tongue frameth deceit. Thou shalt sitteth and speaketh against thy brother, thou shalt slanderest thy own mother's son. Then things hast thou done, and I kept silence. Thou toughest that I was altogether such and one as thyself, but I will reprove thee, and set them in order before thy eyes. Now consider this, ye that have forgot God, lest I tear you in pieces, and there be none to deliver. Whoso offereth praise, glorify me, and to him that ordereth his conversation aright, will I shew the salvation of God. Blessed art thou, Adonai, the King, King of the Universe, who gave the Torah truth and set everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, Adonai, give the Torah Bukha Tardone, and the Hini Malach Halo, Master and Tomb, the New Turning Met Vashilom, the Tedmenti King, you Bukha Tardone, and the Tina Torah. I hope you guys have a great night and a fantastic tomorrow.